How many properties do you need to retire early and have financial freedom? 3, 5, 10? And how can you build your real estate portfolio safely and smartly? Let's find out. I'm Edric Maguan, and this is The Real Deal. Let's face it, having one rental property just isn't enough to retire. But let's step back for a moment. What does it mean to retire or earn your financial freedom? Do you picture yourself on a lounge chair by the beach all day, sipping on a glass of your favorite drink? That's just the most common image portrayed in the media. In reality, financial freedom actually has a very different definition. It is when you can pursue the lifestyle that you want without having to worry about money. Meaning, we know that we can live comfortably without having to work day in and day out on a monthly basis. In a formula, it is when your passive income is greater than or equal to the expenses you need to support your desired lifestyle. So there are two sides that will affect how fast you get there and how many properties you need. Let's first discuss why it's important to build your passive income. Let's differentiate between passive income from active income. Active income is pretty straightforward. This is the income you earn through your hard work and labor. Income from your day job, business, and side hustle. On the other hand, passive income is the income you get from your investments, such as rental income from properties. But often, when we join the workforce, active income lang ang source of income natin. Wala pa tayong nabibuild na source of passive income. This means all our expenses for our daily needs and wants have to come from this. If we stop working, the flow of income also stops. So our decisions are heavily driven by financial considerations. In other words, we are not financially free. In order to become financially free, we have to gradually build up a passive income source and eventually use this income to fund our daily needs and wants, freeing up our active income. In order to do that, you need to spend a portion of your active income towards investments that will generate passive income in the long run. But truth be told, even some investors can never seem to get any closer to financial freedom. Why? Because they don't focus on the second part of the financial freedom equation, the expenses. Often, many will have a very extravagant lifestyle goal. They set this up to be in line with the lives of the rich and famous, or trying to keep up with the Joneses. Because of this desire to live like the rich and famous as soon as possible, many experience a lifestyle creep, constantly growing their living expenses and living luxuriously. But at what cost? What are you giving up for this kind of lifestyle? Some may have settled with the job that they hate. Some may lack the work-life balance that they need. Many have set aside their true passion and purpose, struggling to find meaning in what they do. So instead of chasing this kind of lifestyle, ask yourself how much you need to live comfortably. How much is enough? This doesn't mean you stop striving. It just means you're flipping the script where you pursue your passions or have the work-life balance before pursuing the luxuries of life. Start by defining what is a comfortable and joyful life for you. Maybe it's a safe home and a functional car that fits you and your family. Or maybe a lifestyle that allows you to travel often while everything else is kept to a minimum. It's up to you. Know what's truly essential for you. Know what brings you joy from within not dictated by the need to impress other people. Ultimately, ikaw ang magde-decide niya. Now that you have the lifestyle in mind, it's time to determine how much you need to maintain that. Be specific because this will be your target. A great way to do this is to see how much your living expenses are right now, then adjust from there. Adjust down if you think you can do with less, or adjust upward if you think you need a better lifestyle than you currently have. Will that cost you 50,000 a month, 100,000, 200,000? Identify that number. Once you have this number, you can calculate how many properties you need. But before we get to that, if you find this content helpful, hit the like button. So let's say you've determined that you and your family will be comfortable with living expenses of 100,000 per month. And let's say you are targeting properties that can bring in 20,000 per month on average of rental income net of property expenses. This means you will need to target five rental properties to reach sustainable, 
long-lasting financial freedom. It's important to note that you don't include the monthly amortization to this computation. Remember, through time, you'll be able to pay off your loan, so you just want to consider the passive income your property can bring in once you've been able to pay off the loan. And for the sole purpose of this illustration, I use the average rental income to simplify. But of course, rental income of the property varies per location and size among other things. And so, you may need less than 5 properties if the properties are bigger and situated in better locations. I know buying 1 or 2 properties may seem manageable. But what if it's 3, 5, or more? This may seem daunting at the moment. But here are several tips on how you can build your portfolio in a way that's more practical, more manageable, and safer. Tip number one, the two-year rule. The two-year rule is a strategy used for investing in pre-selling properties in locations with a strong rental market. Basically, you look to invest in a newly launched pre-selling property every two years with the goal of turning it into a rental property that will give you a good return when it turns over to you. This means you will reserve the property at its lowest possible price at a relatively small amount monthly, usually stretched over 4 to 5 years. You are also spacing out your acquisition of additional properties as well as their turnover. Spacing the turnover every 2 years will also give you enough time to get properties fully running. Remember, this is just a rule of thumb, which you can adjust to your particular situation. If you want to learn more about the 2-year rule, Check out my other video. Because of the relatively light payment terms of pre-selling properties, it gives you two very important benefits. First, it allows you to invest earlier. Especially for young investors, instead of working to save up a million or two before being able to invest in a resale property, you can already lock in your total contract price while paying a relatively small amount monthly. This sets you up nicely for your future rental income. Second, it allows you to spread your funds to invest in multiple properties as soon as possible, instead of putting all your money into one property. This is particularly important when you are investing in high growth potential areas, which also tend to be great rental properties. Instead of waiting and saving up, you can lock in your price early to build your portfolio. If you want to know which pre-selling properties have high growth and rental potential, book a free consultation with me or message me by the link in the description. Tip number two, never pay off your mortgage early. Many may be tempted to pay off their mortgage early, but this may be counterproductive as it may slow you down from building your portfolio. Remember that when it comes to real estate, especially here in the Philippines, it is stable and prices just tend to go up. So instead of using your money to pay off your current home loan, you can opt to invest in a new property so you can lock in your purchase price. This is a smart move, especially with our real estate market situation. This will help you grow your investment portfolio more quickly. Tip number three, unlock your equity. Over time, the value of your properties will grow. In high growth potential areas, they may even double in value in just five to seven years. With this, you can actually use the increased value of your property to borrow more from the bank to fund your next investment properties. This is called unlocking your equity, or more commonly known as home equity loan. How does this work? For example, you bought a property worth 6 million a few years ago with a loan balance of 4 million. Today, the assessed value of the property has increased to 8 million. This means that with the current value, you can loan up to 6.4 million. The difference between 6.4 million and your existing loan of 4 million, which is equivalent to 2.4 million, can be borrowed. Once you achieve your goal in terms of the number of properties you need, you can now focus on paying off your mortgage to gain incredible passive income month in and month out. Imagine that all your passive income that you have built throughout your journey can now support your living expenses and you're now free to pursue whatever it is in life you want. Thank you for watching. If you want to inquire about the pre-selling developments that I offer, you may get sample computations or sign up for a free consultation by visiting my website or by messaging me on my social media. I'm an accredited broker of the country's most trusted developers. And if you want to learn more about real estate investing, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other video. Let's get rich and financially free one property at a time.